Hey everyone, Erin here from Real Wake Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. So today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new style from Gabor. This is called Love Wave and I have it in the color SS Hazelnut. So stay tuned. Love Wave is from Gabor's new 2023 fall collection and I'm really excited to share this one with you. And in fact, I've brought two other Raquel Welch wigs so we can take a little bit of a comparison. Because I will tell you that Love Wave looks very similar to Raquel Welch's new Big Spender. There's two key differences, so stay tuned. The other thing we're going to compare is how Shaded Hazelnut, the color that I have Love Wave in, looks on regular synthetic, which is what Love Wave is made out of, versus Heat Defiant Fiber. I brought with me Raquel Welch's Wavy Day in Shaded Hazelnut, so we can compare this shade how it looks on straight synthetic versus HD synthetic fiber. I'm gonna do a turn so that you can see Love Wave on all sides, but as you can see, this is sort of a mid-length barrel curled style with, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got straightened ends. And that's where one of the similarities to Raquel Welch's new Big Spender is really seen, okay? So here is my front, here is my right side, the back, my left hand side, and then back to the front. This style has an average size cap and it's fitting my 22 inch circumference head really well. It's super comfortable. It's got a left-handed monofilament part. I'll bend down there so that you can see the illusion of scalp. It has an extended lace front that runs all the way into the ear tabs. The lace is done really well. And for those of you that are new to wearing wigs, oftentimes with darker colors like this, you run the risk of seeing some of the knotting. And the knots are where these individual fibers have been adhered to the cap or to the lace. What they've done is a really good job of blending some of the lighter shades that are through haze, shaded hazelnut and interspersing them at the front to help to disguise those knots. So I think it looks fantastic. And you love hearing about density. I know that. So I would call this medium density. Medium, maybe medium to light. If you're new to wearing wigs, it's definitely medium. Now, whenever we talk about density, it's a little bit of a harder discussion because if you're somebody that is used to very fine bio hair, like mine, or no hair at all, then this is still a wig that is lighter density is still going to feel like a lot of hair to you because just like myself, we're used to having very thin and fine hair. But within the world of wigs, I would call this medium to maybe medium to light density. And this is why I brought Raquel Welch's Big Spender, brand new style for fall of 2023. And the style itself is almost identical to Gabor's Love Wave. You may not be aware, but Gabor and Raquel Welch are both made from hair you wear. So that's why you see some of these similarities. You see similarities in colors. This being SS Hazelnut, you can also get SS Hazelnut under the Raquel Welch brand of wigs. You know, I said earlier that there were two key differences between Love Wave and Raquel Welch's Big Spender. So the first one is density. Big Spender absolutely is full density. There is a lot of hair on this piece. It's gorgeous, but it's not for somebody, in my opinion, it's not for somebody that is, has not been wearing wigs for a period of time or that is used to very fine and thin hair. Big Spender is going to feel like too much hair for you. But if you really love this general style, then I really want you to check out Gabor's Love Wave because it is lower density while getting some of the same design features um, as you see on Big Spender, which I'm a big fan of this, but I can tell you that if I had tried this at the beginning of my wig journey, it would have felt like too much hair. Big difference is that Love Wave is synthetic, but it's straight synthetic. So you can't apply heat to this. You can't change the curl pattern or the wave pattern 
versus Raquel Welch's Big Spender is made from their heat defiant fiber, which means that you could absolutely straighten this, change the curl pattern, basically style it any way you would your own bio hair, all while keeping those heat tools on low. I thought I would pop on Big Spender so that you can see the differences and the similarities. Similarities being the style, the general cut, the straightened ends, certainly very similar to Love Wave. I think what you can probably see is the volume difference. There is considerably more hair on Big Spender than there is on Love Wave. I personally love both, but just I just want you to be aware because I don't want you to get that wig home and be disappointed. And I have Big Spender in SS Wheat, Shaded Wheat, one of my favorite Raquel Welch shades. The next thing I want to go over with you is SS Hazelnut and the fact that the same colors can look very different on straight synthetic versus heat defiant synthetic fiber. So here is Love Wave in SS Hazelnut and here is Raquel Welch's Wavy Day in SS Hazelnut. This is HD fiber and this is their Flex Light, which is their regular synthetic fiber. So there's a good amount of similarities, but I think that you can see some of the differences in the shades. So just something that I wanted to point out, I love this color. I particularly like the color on as it appears on HD synthetic versus the regular synthetic, but I think that it still looks beautiful. So this is Love Wave back on my head and this shaded hazelnut is basically a coffee brown base blended with soft ginger highlights throughout. These front sections on Love Wave are 10 inches and for reference, my face from hairline to chin is approximately seven inches. So that may give you an idea of where these waves are gonna fall on you on your face. For example, if you have a much longer face than I do, this piece may look shorter on you than it is looking on me. The crown is 10 inches. The sides are 10 and a quarter. The nape is seven and a half. And then altogether, this wig weighs 4.8 ounces. I'll go ahead and take Love Wave off so that I can show you the inside of the cap. And it's a very comfortable cap. You've got that full, monofilament top like we're seeing up here, lace front that's running into the felt covered ear tabs with metal stays, and then you have open wefted sides, back, and extended nape with Velcro adjusters. So if you're new to wearing wigs, these Velcro adjusters can be adjusted along the nape to custom fit this wig for you and for your head circumference. As I mentioned earlier, I have a 22 inch circumference head and the adjusters aren't all the way out, but they're almost all the way out for me and it's fitting me very comfortably. I just know that many of you are really gonna like this style. The, the wave pattern, the length is all really beautiful. And the fact that it's straight synthetic means for me that it's a bit of a workhorse, meaning it take, it's going to take less work and care taking care of these synthetic, straight synthetic fibers versus HD or heat defiant synthetic fibers. And you know how much I love heat defiant synthetic fibers. It's just that they typically need heat applied to them every couple of wears to keep them looking and feeling great. Straight synthetic like this also doesn't typically tangle as quickly as HD synthetic does. So, I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think about Gabor's new Love Wave? And drop it in the comments below. If you're interested in this style, you can find it at wigsbypattiespearls.com. Be sure to use my discount code Erin, E-R-Y-N-N, -N, 25 to save. Stay well and stay safe. Bye, everybody.